Did you have a good night's sleep, Mia? Did you? Did you sleep good? Yeah? Yeah? Hope so. You were tired. You were tired. You wasn't tired, little girl. You ready for today? Yeah, absolutely. I love cross country. Absolutely. Wow, that's, that's a big pile of breakfast. You want to sleep on that, don't you? It's your pillow. <laughs> Is it your pillow? Is it your pillow? What you doing over here? I am putting the strap on the start bars for my vest. Oh, got it. And it is very difficult. Okay. Do you have a number? Yeah. Okay. Look at that tail, Mia. Okay, we're confused because this is the cross-country warm-up arena, yet all the fences in here are too big for the lower levels to practice over. So she's just going to have to warm up flat, take her out on course. Bummer. Hopefully. I think I'm zoomed all the way in. She's so far away. At the far, far end, zoomed all the way in. I feel like they might like a like a let a second person go once they get to like fence nine.
Good memes. of the sheet. Yeah. Want me to take a picture of the sheet? Yeah. Okay. Does her boots slip? Yeah. Doesn't look like it, no. No, they stayed up. So how'd it go? Well, like I said, this show is a learning opportunity. She does not go cross country in a hackamore very well. So me. half of it for cross country it is. Learn that one here. So uh, it was an interesting round. Definitely too fast, but I didn't want to fight with her and lose what leverage I already had. Uh -huh. So I let her go a little bit quick and then tried to bring her back before the fences. And then our steering was okay. She was a little bit lucky at some of the fences and a couple of them I didn't ride her very well because I felt like I didn't have the best riding ability. So it didn't end up being that great. But I mean, she jumped everything. I'm happy with her. She did the down bank, no problem. She was a little hesitant into the water, but I let her sniff when she got inside, and she's happy to can her out and jump, so. Okay. Well, we learned. She's definitely a combo, but for uh, press country. And now for, you have to go straight into your yep. stadium? Try and learn my course for show dumping. And you didn't get a chance to go back and change? No, I have to, I'm all like sweaty and nasty. Just took your best off and you've got to go right to the next one? Yep. No more pretty clothes today. <laughs> or for this show. Okay. Joining us now for the first round of the Open, number 117. How do you like that? And Kilari Mazi. Second round. 117, how do you like that? And Larry Mazzi.
A lot of crazy turns this horse is not used to. She did good on those crazy turns. <laughs> Mia, you're a superstar. You did so much today. Yeah, she took those turns like, every time she does it. Second is just really hard because you have a fence lined right up against that they lock onto. It's a tight turn. Yeah. She knocked three, so the pole's in the way of our inside turn. Yeah. Here, I'll walk with really you while you cool out. Of. I'll walk with you while you cool out. Yeah, that's what she was confused about. From the, it was six to seven, so we came over the green and we had to do the right rollback to the yellow. And she saw the pole where we're supposed to turn. Like, she was already fixated on the second line, like the second fence of the line. She didn't realize we had to turn. And then when we started turning, the pole was on the way that she knocked over. And she was like, whoa! And I was like, it's okay, you're good. And yeah, I could hear you her. talking to her. She jumped with the six really well, came around. She was a little bit flat and long coming into eight nine, but I just tried to steady her. I found myself in her face a little bit, like trying to remember to like relax not pull on her. Um, I'm perfectly happy with it, honestly. She's done a lot of nice turns. Turns she's not used to. Those were those were so tight, the courses, compared to what she's been doing. Oh, yeah. Definitely. She's like, wait, I'm not a barrel racer. <laughs> no, she's never done tight turns like that. And fully in a hackamore. Too bad you didn't get to change her outfit and her boots and everything. I know. Clean her up a little bit. I came off cross country and immediately started my division. And she hasn't had a drink? Probably so thirsty. Yeah, she's got to be thirsty. I can go grab her bucket. There's a superstar. I'm so proud of her. You do good job, Mia. Probably so thirsty. Good job. Mia. She wants to the water bucket, but she's waiting for me to take her bottle. Go ahead. Give me privacy. I know. Exactly what she's doing. You're going to step and poop. Oh, that's what I'm smelling. Stinky. Clean it up. Thanks, Thank you. Good girl. It's kind of nice that we're done for the day, though. Feels so early. Let's fresh in, go get a drink. Uh, she usually pees first. Mia? Yep, she's gonna pee. Mia, go pee. Mia, go pee. Go pee. Yeah, go pee. Said you left the saddle on me in my boots. Go pee. There she goes. That's so awesome that you trained her to do that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And it's always that one spot she pees in. That's awesome. Now come get a drink so you don't get dehydrated.
Jari in the show office. Settling up. <laughs> Just walking around the facility. Coming down to take a closer look at the soccer fields. I'm filming you film again. Oh, the inner one and the outer? Yeah. The inside, it used to be polo fields. I don't know if they still use this color or not. What's going on, Mia? Normally, jumpers is on here. Which, sure is pretty, but I don't like jumping on grass. At least this one. It's very slippery. Yeah. I remember when you were up here with Ami. He slipped a few times, even with studs. And it's not level, so you have to ride like that much more. You have to be that much more careful. Oh, and there's, there's, a really there's a little, there's a yeah. little community here. That's cute. These are the people that work the track. Probably. I never noticed this before. That's awesome. There's a path to each one. That's cute. Hey, John, you got any ketchup? Probably. There's the track, Mia. There's a start gate over there, too. Oh, I know. Start, uh, Friday. There it is, Mia. Oh, there's the lights, Kilari. Oh, there they are. I don't know if they're going to show up. Let me try to zoom. I don't know if it's going to show up, but there are lights, string lights, hanging in these trees. And when Kilari was doing her jump around, they were smacking her in the face. What was that, Mia? What were Something you looking at? What did you see? Over here, Mia. Now she sees the big building where the weddings are. Right through there, I just saw the top of the street. Oh, there it is. <coughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'm done riding, right? <laughs> Look at her. It's right over there. <laughs> that song is ringing in her head. Memories. And here's the racehorse barns. It occurred to me I wasn't filming while we were walking around giving the tour. So here we have the far west end of Galway. So this is the blossom zone. Isn't that gorgeous? And the racehorse barns, barn owls. And this is the barn that so many weddings are held in, inside, outside. Get closer. There's a better view of it. We think there might be ceremonies performed in this area. And we're gonna head back to the competitor's barn aisles. Hello. Did you come to say hello? Hi, sweetie. Oh, you're pretty. Oh, you're pretty. This is cute. 
cute. A cute setup. Hello everyone. Soccer going on again today. There's the show office over there, and there was the warm up arena we were in yesterday. Both of these, actually. Now I'm beginning the long walk back, back to Mia and Kilari. Mia, are you digging a hole to China? You're gonna hurt yourself. Get out of there. Oh my God. Kilari, I hate to break it to you, but this mare turned out to be very downhill. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like she cut herself. No, no, that would be Shepard. <laughs> That's over. Get out of there, Mia. There you go. Scare us. Okay, now, Mia, you had this yesterday, so it shouldn't surprise you what this is all about. Don't be walking around crazy today. She goes, not those cold, vibrating things. And then looks at you like we. Like so she was like content in the back of the stall until Kilari walks out. And then she had to come to the doorway to make sure Kilari wasn't leaving. That's her girl. Yeah, so she's unsure and wants me to. Aw, uh, pacifier. Her it's okay. Do you need your mama? <laughs> Do you need your mommy to tell you it's okay? I actually got like your entire cross country. I only, you only can't see one. I'm just gonna leave you like that, Mia. Only two and smudging. We're testing Mia with Kilari moving and leaving her. She's all mellowed out with all her ice boots on. Like, go out of sight. Oh, she could see you walking away. It's better when she's back in the corner and can't see you at all. Where'd she go, Mia? Did she leave you in there? Amy, where's mom? Hey, you. Nemo, where's mom? Where'd she go? She's got something else she's looking at. No. Now, yeah. she's, now she's wondering where you are. She says, I'm concerned she left, but I'm really tired. <laughs> Organizing, closing up. Tape and no shoe. Okay. <laughs> oh, you wrapped up there, Mia. You like those better than the ice vibes? Yep. Yeah, I'm talking. I'm asking you a question. After you made a big hay pile, oh my gosh. Oh, what you holding? So we got a first, second, a third today, and then she won champion for her jumper division. Oh. And then they got a special C4 belt with the rubber classic. Oh, that's nice. So that's really cool. Yay, Kilari Mia. Team, how do you like that? I keep saying Mia, but... we need to like, take pictures with all of his stuff. For sure, that's awesome. She's loading you up. 
Put them across your nose. No. You got the trash can behind you, though. Well, you're supposed to come this way. Mom, okay. Take a picture that way. Your big girl put on her big girl panties this weekend. Okay. Now she's going home. They're all telling you goodbye, Mia. Telling you bye bye. <laughs> Hi, girl. Bye, Mia. See you back. See you at home. See you at home, Mia. Bye, sweetie. Bye bye. Now, there's a view we don't always get. I'm usually in that truck with her, but I'm following behind today. Heading back to the barn. I missed you getting out of the trailer. I had to stop and get gas. Mia, are you happy to be home? Is she happy to be back? She uh, almost fell out of the trailer. She was walking, not paying attention. And then she was walking like she was still on the trailer and didn't realize there was a step. So she's like, oh, okay. <gasps> she walked over to saw Ami. Ami was very upset or hyper. I don't know. He was galloping circles, leaping and bucking in his crowd. We just walked back. She got a good long drink outside. She said hello to Simon. Now she's munching on her hay. And then she's drinking and munching, drinking and munching. What's interesting is she's choosing to eat grass over alfalfa right now. She's <laughs> going to town on it. And got my, my slurpee. Got your slurpee. But um, I didn't clean her stall before I left, so I'm trying to do that right now. Okay. You happy to be home, Mia? She's right. Everything back to normal?